We are live right now on the Pure West Radio Facebook page, as well as on the app, on the website and on your smart speakers. And on the show tonight, we've got all your local sport covered with Goodick United on the eve of wrapping up the Division One title in football. We'll round up all of the weekend's action that also included a Friday night win for Haverford West County at the Oggy Bridge Meadow. Plenty of local rugby on the way as well. Narbuth taking another step closer to winning the championship with a huge win at Newcastle Emlyn, St Clair's winning Division 2 and Tembi battling for promotion with them as well. We'll review all of the weekend's results. Our guest tonight will be Pembrokeshire cricketer Richard Harris, fresh from captaining the Wales over 60s to sixth place in the over 60s World Cup in Chennai last month. We'll find out about that amazing experience in India uh, with Richard and for the Wales side. I'm sure we'll do some Premier League football as well. The title race could be split three ways at the moment. Which way is it going? And much more to come as well. Great to be back with you live on the Facebook page tonight. You can get involved and in the studio in Haverford West. Gordon Thomas, how are you? I'm very good, Ben, after a little bit of a break, but we're we're back in action tonight. Um, I did go to uh, watch a little bit of Merlin's Bridge against Moncton on uh, Saturday. It was quite blustery, to say the least. <laughs> yeah, I have to say, and Fraser, evening to you and, and to Tom as well in the studio in Hanford West. I, I was a bit concerned, Fraser, going into the weekend's matches, whether we'd see a full programme of football. I think we pretty much did, though, didn't we? But were conditions a bit challenging? Uh, just a little bit, Ben, just a little bit. Um, the... Uh... The old things were blowing around the garden on a couple of <laughs> nights this week. I'm sure Gordon had the same down there. Yeah, we had storm, whatever it's called now, Kathleen, coming on. Kathleen this yeah. week, is it? Okay. Uh, that came in Friday and Saturday. So uh, junior football took a backing, that's for sure. But some senior, senior stuff did get on. Yeah, which which is good. And, you know, the, the weather turning as it is, chaps, can only mean one thing, can't it? The cricket season's not yes. far away. Yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 But it was good to get some football played. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll look back on a, a big win for Haverford West, actually, on Friday night, because that's uh, setting up a, a grand slam finish to the season for the Bluebirds, looking to win uh, that section, of course, and, and could be some European playoffs to come. Um, but let's start in Division 1 of the Pembrokeshire League, shall we? Um, and... Uh, Goodick United are on the eve of the title, mm. aren't they? And, and Fraser, just, just give us the permutation. They'll win it tomorrow with a victory. Yeah, very simple. Haken slipping up again on the weekend. Draw McKilgetty. Goodick, I think, have got five games to play. Three points will do it. They obviously play Milford United at home tomorrow night. They then play Nayland later in the week, who, who they beat 6-0 on Saturday. Um, you know, it, it's been a mixed week for them. Obviously, at that West Wales Cup down in, in Stevan Heath <laughs> against uh, Pennebont last Tuesday. I went down... It was a disappointing night, that has to be said, and, and I don't think they'd make any bones about it either. You know, they were missing a couple of influential players, Rhys Jones and Jake Smith in mm. midfield, and they didn't get hold of the game midfield at all. Um, and, you know, they only really fashioned two chances over the 90 minutes. Penabot, um, sorry, Penland, as we know, Penland Club, yeah. I call them better, but yeah, Penland sorry. Club, very streetwise, shy, very organised, physical, <laughs> and they deserved it on the night. Um, it, it was a night we could have underperformed, that has to be said, and, and they would have been aware of that. But, um, you know, they've still got a double to play for and they're going to win the league. And not just going to win the league, they're going to win it at a canter, actually. They've mm. been by far the best side in that league this year. Yeah, they had a big win, didn't they, on Saturday? I'll, I'll just read out the scores and then uh, Gordon can give us some thoughts as well. Goodick 6, Nayland 0, Carew 2, Penna 0, uh, Clarberson Road 3, Fishguard 0, Haken United 2, Kilgetty 2, uh, Merlin's Bridge 1, Monkton Swifts 4 and Milford United 2, Tembi 2. So uh, good at Gordon, we'll, we'll wrap up the title. If they don't do it tomorrow, they'll, they'll do it over the next few weeks. And there was plenty of goals on Saturday. Yeah, it seems to be uh, part of the course these, uh, these Saturdays. I, I, I don't know, there's plenty going on in there. I mean, it was a, a bit of a shock at the Orbs. Uh, I know they're probably very disappointed that they're not really in the title race, even mm. though they were top of the table going into the yeah. game. But to go two goals down on your home ground, I know uh, one of the goals was a 50-yard wind-assisted effort. So not a surprise, isn't it? On a day like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but you know, Haken are resigned to the fact that the the title is gone, and um, as Fraser just correctly pointed out, Goodick have been way, way the, mm. the best side this season. No, no problem at all. They'd be very disappointed with that West Wales Cup result against Penland. But Fraser was there, and obviously Swansea boys, they're quite streetwise. They know how to. Wind people up and uh, I wish our Swansea boys were a bit street. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
<laughs> get the referee on your side and all that. They, they, they would have learned from that anyway. Hopefully next season they'll they'll go a step further and get to the final. Uh, Merlin's Bridge, um, they're in the other semi-final mm. phase. Uh, we yeah. Say, but having watched them against um, uh, Moncton Swifts on Saturday, they, they will have to improve a lot. Uh, I'm not saying they won't get to the final, but if they do get to the fa- final, Penland will um, be a very difficult uh, yeah. day at the office. Yeah. For, uh, obviously, it's my old club. I want them to do well before they all start giving me stick on that. <laughs> it's interesting. We don't know a lot about Langevelle. He's actually playing no. the squad. They're not in the West Coast. Apparently, in the Swansea, yeah. Swansea Senior League. And they haven't played many games this year, ironically. No. But, yeah, they saw the rain coming down on Tuesday, and it was no surprise that Stephen Heath was underwater. No. On Tuesday. But Fishguard relegated. But I'm a little surprised with the nature and when they've gone down. They've got Phil Jones, they're very experienced coach, very good yeah. coach. They've, you know, since coming up a few years ago, they've established themselves, really have. I know they just scare last year, but to go down with, with by that points margin is surprising. What's going yeah, on there? I, 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 don't, I don't really know. They just really haven't gelled, uh, phrase. Mm. I, I don't know what the ins and outs of it. You're right, Phil Jones is probably one of the best coaches mm. in Division 1. Uh, but you do have to have the players to yeah, be able sure. to uh, mm. move that on. I mean, Anthony Cousins has been playing very well at the back for him. And he's, as you know, very experienced. Um, but they've just lacked that cutting edge in front yeah. of goal, I think, has been the problem. Uh, they can give any side more than a match, but they, well, they've been on the losing end too many uh, too many times this season. Mm. And only, only spells one thing, you're, you're going to be relegated mm. I'm sure they will regroup next season and they'll be strong in Division 2. So we'll see what happens with that. I I, I don't know who do you feel is going to be the next one. Do yeah, you think uh, Nayland are going to get I, themselves out of it this time? No, they don't. I, I will say that now. Good, they need them. Just double check the table there to make sure this is right. They yeah. need a minimum of, uh, of four points to catch Penn off on two games, perhaps yeah. five if you look at the goal difference. One of those games in Skudiku would be beaten 6 0 by on Saturday. Their only slight hope is, and, and I'm not suggesting anything like this will go on but obviously good if they do wrap up the title on tuesday they may look to tinker a bit because they've got senior cup semi-final <laughs> to have. come yeah. they've got a dense schedule and they have also got a second team in a promotion race in division two now we know what can happen and it's within the rules you're, you're <laughs> what are you trying down. to say no, no. <laughs> <laughs> It could influence that, but that that for me is Nayland's only hope if good feel the weakened team on thursday but yeah. i know sully's like he, he's Intent is relentless. He won't want any letter before that senior cup. And he won't want you saying that on air, man. No. Phrase <laughs> <laughs> no. upsetting people. Also, yeah. You want to go through the season and beat the league season. The mm-hmm. I think well. that's the holy grail, and, to and be they, honest with you. And they've got an opportunity to do yeah. that. So, um, no, I, I can't see Nathan getting out of it. Worth a look in Division 2 as well. So, you, obviously, the team's coming down from Division 1. Monks and Swift, seconds top the table. Yeah. So, what, what's the rules there? Herbranston in seconds. No, uh, Merlin's... Second so, team can go into the first. Yeah. Team. So, so how, how many would we expect to come up from Division Two? You, two. You, yeah, it's, two you, you still, two. it's not a rule. I don't know what Gordon thinks. It's not a rule I've ever agreed with. You can. I think we had a situation. You finish mid table. Yeah. Go up. We, well, we had a situation a couple yeah. of years ago where I think if you finished fourth, you went up because I think Haken seconds and Moving's Bridge seconds are in the top four. So mm. if you look at it now, yeah, her brands are, are as good as up. I think all well, the initials have only played eighteen games. Um, so it, it's looking mm. at. The, like it will be her Branston and St. Ishmael, and... even though you know St. Ishmael's are currently in fourth and her Branston in second. So what do we, do we do you not agree with that rule phrase? Do you think second teams should be allowed to come up? No, I don't think second teams should be allowed to go up, but I think if if you're a first tier and you hope finish in the top two, I don't think yeah. you should be promoted. If that means no one promoted, then so be okay. it. Yeah. It's it's a rule that can cause problems. We've seen in cricket, you know, teams saved from going down sometimes for a couple of seasons on end because the teams haven't yeah. been able to come up and quite often they end up then having another very difficult season yeah. and then they disintegrate because yeah. they were two three years of losing yeah. and not had the chance to rebuild yeah. so i get that side of it too but for me you shouldn't be able to finish fourth or fifth in division and be promoted no that that is and that could actually be difficult for those teams that do finish fourth or fifth in a, in a division and then are all of a sudden playing at a higher level as well the next season yeah absolutely well uh, time will tell over the next few weeks of the season uh won't it, it does look pretty certain good at united will be the division one champions um at the oggy bridge meadow on friday night the pure west team were there tom i know you and toby were there in force weren't you on friday night having a good time it was yeah it was brilliant actually um we managed to stay out of the rain and the winds and everything else that was flowing down from the sky and uh, 
I was I was really impressed actually with the with, with the team's performance. Um, their their ability to hold on to the ball. Um, it was a shame that they couldn't convert more by going down that left hand side in the first half. Um, but their retention of the ball is actually really good. They're just missing that bit of firepower up the front. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, which has has been something we've said a bit this season, hasn't it? Yeah. But you, you're right. The the rain was uh, persistent, wasn't it, on uh, Friday night? A two one victory over Barry. And actually, God, you look at the table now. Haverford West top that section, don't they? Yeah. Two to go. Uh, Colwyn yeah. Bay is twelve forty five on Saturday. Yeah. That's the final home game of the season. Then an away yeah. match on the final day. Is history repeating itself here? It could be. Destiny is in their own hands, to be fair. Yeah. If they win both those games, yes, they're going to go into the, the playoffs with the the fifth, uh, is it the fifth and sixth? Mm. Yes. In, that, in the division split. Yeah. So um, they'll do exactly the same as last season then, have to beat both those sides. Uh, they could do it on penalties again, would be exciting, <laughs> wouldn't it? But well, that would no, be, wouldn't it? Play, it, it was a great season last season, and Halford West have done well to stay on top in this division. You have to say that um, uh, Penny Bond have been deducted six points, mm-hmm. right? Uh, mm-hmm. Had they not been deducted six points, we'd be having a different conversation at this moment in time. But you have to, it is, it is what it is. Halford West are in mm. the, the position, they have a great opportunity to make the playoffs. It's just get a good win on Saturday and go to Pennybont and do the same thing. It sounds mm. easy, doesn't it? We should well, note as well, actually, I saw a remarkable stat. They scored four goals in the 18th minute or later against Barrytown yeah. this season. Uh, just, when, when, that's just Barrytown. When you add together all the other late goals, <laughs> yeah. you know, we've spoken a lot about their form maybe not being as consistent as they've liked, but that does show character and togetherness to, to keep yeah. you up to yeah. the end. I think, you know, that, that, that does a reflection of the squad that Tony Penix built. It's a squad that's united, even if yeah. you know results haven't, like we said, haven't been as consistent as they might have liked. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah well, they're they're a young side as well, aren't they? Done a video of them as well. So yeah, the, the, the late late show with Hamford West yes, is on yes, their social media at the moment. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, no, I was going to say... Time, mate, sort of Penick time, not Fergie time, Penick time. Yeah. <laughs> i tell you what, that, that Corey Shepherd goal as well has done the rounds on social media. That was from Friday. That's well, worth having a look at. What player Corey Shepherd seems well, he, to be? Mm. You know, he's the one who scored the penalty and then didn't compete in Europe. And now he's come back mm. and he's going to do the same thing again. Yeah, you never know, do you? It's going to be an exciting finish, actually, for the don't... Bluebirds. <laughs> Off, <laughs> <laughs> he got carried away, didn't he? After the the game, was it the game in Newtown, wasn't it? The final, yeah, uh, yeah good, good to yeah. see. Anyway, it's good that there's something on these last two games. I should also say the crowd are good on Friday. I think I think Half West again had the the top Over attendance, five hundred, I believe, which yeah, is good. great. Yeah, particularly in that weather, it was awful. Yeah. Over five hundred people. They're in the top three of attendances in the in the top division of the Premier. And uh, well, keep your eyes peeled on social media for maybe a bit of a promotion coming for this last time yeah. of the season as Behind well. Behind the scenes, they need to be applauded for that because half of West <clears throat> have always struggled for numbers. Yeah. They work so hard, they're marketing people. So they have fair play to them. They're getting people through the gates. That's great to see. Yeah, absolutely. And as Tom just alluded to, just uh, keep your eye out on our social media. We, we might have some tickets to give away ahead of that at the weekend. Uh, phrase, dare I bring up Swansea City? Oh. It's been um, a few weeks since we've been on live. No, and you know, look, cloud nine <laughs> after the Cardiff game, we really came out yeah. performed that day, and we've been pretty wretched since. Um, unfortunately, one goal in three games, two of them defeat. I'm actually going down to Swansea Stoke on Wednesday night. There's a five point gap between us and relegation, so I'm very aware that gap could be two by Thursday morning. So I'm going, <laughs> yeah, I'm going down with a great sense of trepidation. <laughs> We're not cynical enough at all at the moment. That the absence of goal hero this season it is proving telling, and. As we said, been pretty toughless in the last couple mm. of games. Stoke is now a huge occasion. We're not safe yet by any means. It, do you know, I, I was quite, in all seriousness, amazed to look at the table because I, I didn't mm. think it was quite as close as that. Um, but you are right. Um, yeah, Birmingham on 42 points, Swansea on 47. So they just need another win, really, to, to yeah. get over the line, I think, um, to, to try and stay up. And they should get that. You, you should you should stay up, I think. But we, it has been yeah, a tricky one. Huddersfield to play as well. That could be a huge game. But um, yeah. should mention on a slightly brighter note as well. And Harold James getting a rare goal Yay! for Wales yes. in the win of a Croatia. Good to see you getting forward and a good finish as well. She yeah, absolutely. Quite a few caps under her belt now, Fraser. She's got about 200 now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she will be by the time she finishes, that's for sure. Many <laughs> over 100. Yeah, she's yeah. already over 100, yeah. of course. Yeah. yeah. That's that's really good to see. And um, we'll maybe touch on some more football before um, nine o'clock because it looks like three sides going for the the Premier League and a good game between Man U and Liverpool yesterday. Gord as well. I, I wouldn't have called that good, mate. <laughs> <laughs> that's good I, goal I, from I, Fernandez. I, I'll be honest, as a United fan, I 
what was it, 20 shots mm. on target in the first half. They go in 1 0, and Man United haven't had a shot of goal. What's that about? Yeah. And then we come out and we just tear them to pieces. <laughs> but. <laughs> But you've got Cobby Mainy, who I think will be a star. Yeah. And it will what go to the Euros. It's, it's refreshing to see that United, despite all the talk with all the money they spend, it's great to see that they are looking at youngsters coming mm. through. And he is a breath of fresh air. Okay. Um, I don't know. I, I have, I've asked Fraser this. Fraser, were you in Cardiff for the, the Polling game as well, Fraser? Were you, were you? I said, I'm about yeah. to say, unfortunately, perhaps yeah. it was fortunately at the end, it was uh, it was never had to work. So I, um, I, I did have tickets, which... Uh, which sold pretty easily but yeah look there's been a lot of talk about that since as well i don't actually look back on that actual night as a missed opportunity to be honest ben i thought words were probably the better side on the night and we know what can happen when it goes to penalties i thought the campaign was a missed opportunity mm. you look back on that group yeah. it's actually a fairly weak group croatia were the top seeds and they look a lot of their golden generation is over the hill now they lost in cardiff you know you had Turkey in there, who aren't the strongest side, and for Wales to take one point of Armenia, which ultimately proved critical, mm. that's what we're undoing. So um, yeah. I don't think we lost qualification are you, such uh, against Poland. Are you we lost of it over the opinion that Pay should stay, or are you you think he's had his chance no, with the I, World Cup and this European campaign? I, I don't think. Going to be brutally honest, I like him a lot as a man. I don't think. I think we actually have a very talented group now. Yeah, and I don't. Mm. Think Get Agreed. most out of that attack. That's, that's attacking interesting talent. to hear that. Yeah. The only thing I, I I wondered that as well. I wondered if the point for him to go, and we will have to take a break in a sec. Cause we're going to talk to Richard Harris, but I, I wonder whether the point for him to go was after the World Cup actually, um, and the fact that he then did stay on and he's mm. taken them close, but missed an opportunity meant that maybe he's the right person to take the young players through the World Cup campaign as well. I, it's a balance now, I think, with Paige. Yeah, I know. And it's, you've got to remember, a... Ben, it's all ifs and buts, but it's an expanded tournament now. So we actually, mm. only reason we had a playoff, because we were guaranteed on from previous being in the Nations League, yes. we play, had, right. had it been just through the group yeah. qualification, we'd have missed right. it by, we'd have missed yeah. it in, in quite poor fashion. And I think then you might have been having a different conversation. It now looks as if we've got within a whisker and maybe the narrative around page it has changed. But okay. you know, I did I did think it was time for a change, but they're keeping them on. So they it's Okay. It's, it's um they've announced yeah, they've right? announced they yeah, have been for yeah. 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 Okay. it's a few yeah. discussion. Yeah. And I and I felt for Dan James as well, because I actually yeah. thought he, yeah. he put some shift in actually in, in yeah. that game. <laughs> Yeah, and I tell you what, Brennan Johnson's looking good for Tottenham as well. Yeah. Um, needs to get that bit of end product, but he's, I think he's going to be a good player and he'll, he'll get coached and he'll be important for Wales, I think, in that World Cup. He'll campaign. be important for Tottenham. And mm. and he will be important for Tottenham. He he's will. played well. He's had, a, I think he's had a very yeah. good first season um, with Spurs, actually, and certainly in the last few weeks he's done well. So he'll yeah. be one, I think, that, that Paige will Sam Roden to. should come back in defence. He won't leak, leak so many goals, then. Huh? It probably well, threw Joe Roden back. Sam would do a job as well. Uh, right, we are going to take a moment. Richard Harris is standing by to talk to us about captaining Wales in the over 60s World Cup in Chennai, in India, uh, in February and March. He's our guest and he's with us next on Pure West Sport this Monday evening. Ethan Evans and Morris solicitors have traditionally.